Hi everybody, Alex Deployer from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Crosshair tool. And what prompted this video was I received a question on YouTube from somebody about the Crosshair tool and I thought, oh, surely everybody knows about the Crosshair tool and what it does. But then I sat back and realized that I actually use the Crosshair tool on a daily basis and it has helped me make millions of dollars over the last 15 years. And in this video, I'm going to show you the role that the Crosshair tool has played in my life as well as the role it's playing on an ongoing basis. So let's have a look at this tool in a little bit more detail. Now I'm going to show you the tool in action in a demonstration but overall what happens is that the tool will tell you the exact size of a trend. It will also tell you the, the time it's taken for that trend to happen and using that information you can then calculate the strength of a particular trend. It also tells you historic data about candles on your chart and then it will also provide you with a way to quickly find out details about any candle price on the actual chart and I'll show you all of that in due course. And then lastly where it has added tremendous value to me is it helps me create stops and targets for my trades. And again, I'll demonstrate that later on. So the crosshair is a tool that anchors in a particular spot on your chart and then you can drag it away from that particular anchor and get lots of information about what's happened between the anchor point and the place where you want more information about. And that allows you to measure the size of a trend. For instance, on your chart, you can see that that trend has run for 18 candles and has traded over 2,000 pips. In this case, uh, this particular one is given in pips. And that the final price where the trend stopped is also then shown. On your screen, you can also see that the anchor price of the details of the anchor candle is also shown. And you can see it's the 21st of the 2nd, 2020. So those are the basic bits of information that you get from the Crosshair tool. But now I'm going to show you a bit more about how I use the Crosshair tool and get a lot more information. On your screen you can see a chart and how I activate my Crosshair tool is by going to the Crosshair icon on MT4. There you are. There you can see it. You can go to the Crosshair icon or you can press Control F to activate it or you can simply press on your scroll wheel on your mouse. If your mouse has a scroll wheel, just press down on it and it will activate the Crosshair. Okay, so now I'm going to give you an example of just measuring a, a particular trend. So let's say there's a trend that's gone up over there. I want to know uh, how, how many pips that trend has run and how many candles it ran. So I, I click on my mouse, I pull the mouse up to where I want it to go and there you can see the information provided. It's run for 24 candles, it's, it's run for 157 pips or 1576 points and the price that the crosshair is at right now is 1.092 so that's the basic information uh, that's provided and then at the bottom of your screen you can see that I started on the 6th of April 2020 at 1400 hours and this is a one hour chart that's why it's giving the hours so that's the kind of information you can get from the chart and it's pretty handy if you want to work with vibration rates and things like that, it's a very quick way of finding vibration rates. The other thing that is pretty handy about is if you want to, for instance, say, what was the price over there at that particular candle? You click on it and the price will be reflected on the right hand side of your chart. So it's a very quick way of getting prices. What was the price down here? There, There's the price. So it's a 
uh, so I also use that to find out what the prices were at a turning point. And uh, another type of thing that I do is I say, that long candle, what time of day did that long candle happen? And you can see it's 7 o'clock. Then what time of day did that candle happen? 1300. What time of day did that long candle? 7 o'clock. What time of day did that candle happen? 1300. So you can see a pattern that's either 1300 or 7 o'clock. So uh, those are all ways that I use the, the crosshair tool. But a really good way of using it is when I, I'm planning a trade. Now let's say and I'll, uh, I'm, tr I'm planning to sell this uh, should it break that, uh, that level of support. And I'm planning to put my stop uh, around about there because that's a good uh, level of uh, support and resistance. And I'm planning to put my target just above that level of support right there. There's the planning of my deal. But now to get information about that deal, I use my crosshair. So I click on the crosshair up there and I drag it down and that tells me that I have a 78 pip stop and then I do the same thing for the target. I go down like that and it tells me I've got a 71 pip target. So that supplies a lot of in, uh, that kind of information for planning future deals. Now I do this every time I do a manual deal. I actually measure my stop and I measure my target because I want a healthy risk return ratio. So that's uh, uh, that's one thing I've been doing over the years, and I've never realized that I do it. I just do it subconsciously all the time, and it's only the question that was raised on YouTube that suddenly made me realize, gee, you know, I use this tool every day. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a very simple tool and one that a lot of people know about, and I hope I've given you some ideas of how I use the tool and how it can help you in your forex trading decision making and analyzing past movements in the market. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.